The serve in pickleball has often been underappreciated. In the past, it was seen merely as a formality, the shot that starts the point, that you shouldn't put too much stock in. And certainly, you shouldn't take so much risk that you might hit the serve out of bounds. But as we watch advanced players, we start to see that things have changed. The serve is an opportunity to get things going in your direction, to tilt the odds in your favor. And given that you're standing still when you hit it, in the position of your choosing, to merely put the ball in the court thoughtlessly seems like a missed opportunity. Now while hitting an unreturnable serve is a nice bonus, that's not typically the goal either. Instead, we should think of the serve as an opportunity to make it difficult for the opponent to hit the kind of return that they want. The serve is a way to challenge your opponent, and to make it more likely that you get the kind of third shot that you're looking for. So, what are some things you can do to make your serve more effective? First, you can use your serve to exploit a weakness. If you think your opponent is weaker on one side of their body or another, using your serve to target that area is a relatively easy way to get the upper hand. You can also control the direction of the serve so well that you move your opponent off the court, making it harder for them to be on balance when they strike the ball. Against teams that like to stack on the return, try swinging the ball out wide. This will put more pressure on them because they know that after they hit that return, they're going to have farther to run to get in position at the net. Loading up and hitting the serve hard is another great way to make it more challenging for the returner. All things being equal, a faster serve will give your opponent less time to prepare for their return than a slower one would. And by giving them less time, you make it more challenging for them to hit the ball just the way they want. Spin is another great way to improve the serve. Brushing up the back of the ball with a neutral paddle face will produce topspin. And since topspin makes the ball drop sooner than a ball hit without spin, this is a great way to give yourself more margin for error over the net, especially if you're hitting hard. Side spin can also be used on the serve. The benefit here is primarily that it can move the opponent off the court, or it can make them have a poor impact point if they don't judge the spin correctly. Of course, there's nothing wrong with just a good deep serve either. While it won't necessarily keep your opponents back at the baseline, it will make it that they have to run farther to get to the kitchen. And this longer distance to run makes it more likely that they'll play a slower return of serve to buy themselves the time they need to come forward. And that's good for you. Remember, the serve is very much about setting up a favorable third shot, and having more time to move and prepare for it is usually better than having less. From a technical perspective, there are a few keys to success. An eastern forehand grip puts the hand behind the paddle in a solid hitting position. It also keeps the paddle face neutral, making it easier to keep the ball low or to apply topspin without the ball going too high. A forward impact point is important, and if you can use the strong parts of your body, like your legs and core to do the work, power becomes easier. Finally, a laid back wrist and an acceleration through contact will help to really snap the ball into play. However you choose to make your serve challenging, it's important to consider it as an offensive opportunity. Again, not necessarily to win the point outright, but to make it harder for your opponents to do what they want with the return, and make it more likely that you get the kind of third shot you're looking for.